Hey guys, this is Nick and Dan from Deluxe Detail. Today we have a 2020 GR Yaris. A bit of fun for the morning. Uh, we're going to be performing a paint ceramic coating on this car and wheel faces ceramic coating. We're going to use some of our products here. We're going to show you guys the process of our decon and how we get this car cleaned up and ready for polishing and coating. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off our decon on this car with a bit of citrus APC, this is our all-purpose cleaner. As you can see, even though this car is brand new, it has got some road grime along the kind of bottom half of the panels. So we're gonna give that a bit of a miss so that just starts cleaning that up. And we'll go around the car. We also might use it in the arches just to break down some of the dirt on the arches. So while Nick's going around and doing the all-purpose cleaner spray, we've got two products that we're gonna use for our wheels. Now first we'll perform chemical decontamination of the wheels with our iron fallout remover. Then we rinse that off and we'll clean the wheels and tires with our wheel and tire cleaner. Now it's time to come through and clean the wheels and tires with our wheel and tire cleaner. So after using the iron fallout remover to decontaminate the wheels, we can now go on to wheel and tire cleaner and clean the wheels and tires. So the first step in deconning the paint in preparation for polishing and coating, uh, we'll have to give the car a full rinse down and we'll apply our iron fallout remover to the paint. We let it sit for a few minutes so that we can pull those ferrous particles, those metallic particles off the clear coat and we can rinse it off and begin our wash. So now comes the fun part with the iron fallout remover is we get to walk around the car and have a look to see really how contaminated it is. Once we let that chemical sit on the paint, after a couple of minutes, it'll start reacting with the metallic particles that have been stuck or embedded into the clear coat. And you'll see a purple reaction, which it will show you that the chemical's working to dislodge all of those metallic particles from the clear coat. Have a look at this side skirt. All those purple drips there, that's all where there was some metallic particles that are in the clear coat. You can see the rear of the vehicle is pretty bad as well. So what we do now in our process while that iron fallout remover is working is we've got our foam wash and we put that into our foam cannon and we can foam over the car, let that sit for a couple of minutes, that'll emulsify any dirt, it will pull off the iron fallout remover uh, it'll be basically our pre-wash before we rinse it down and come in with our two bucket wash. best invention is the microfiber drying towel. Uh, this is our drying towel. Show you how easy it is to dry the bonnet of this GI Yaris. So these drying towels are so much better than a chamois because you never need to wring them out. You can dry a whole car with the one towel and then you can just wash it afterwards. So before polishing, we'll walk around the car, we'll inspect it, we'll check out every panel, all the piano blacks to see if there's any, any scratches that stand out, anything that we have to pay special attention to. So let's do a walk around and have a look. So the hardest part on these cars are these piano black pieces. 
Um, they swirl and scratch super easily, like you literally just look at them and they get, they get marring in them. So that's where we have to stay, pay special attention, is cleaning those up. The paint on this car uh, is pretty decent. With a single stage paint correction, we'll clean up all of the fine scratches in there. So let's get to polishing and clean this thing up. So today we're gonna to use a combination of a medium wool pad and Roops DA Course, a combination that we've fallen in love with. Fortunately, we've done a few of these GR Yaris's, so we've been able to diagnose the paint a few times now, and also we've worked out a really good combination to work with it. Um, the best part about these medium wool pads are, you get the cut of wool, but you don't get the aggression of a really tight wool weave. So let's get into it. So guys, we're up to the coating phase of the GR Yaris now. We're gonna be coating the Piano Blacks, lights and paint in G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra. But what we're actually gonna use now is G-Technic Halo. Now that's a vinyl specific ceramic that we're gonna use on this carbon fiber lay up here. So now it's time to coat the car in Crystal Serum Ultra. This is G-Technic's uh, highest grade ceramic coating. It's warranty for nine years. So when we uh, put it on this car, we put it on everything that we can possibly put it on. So all the piano blacks, all the rubbers, all the paint, uh, headlights, the tail lights. We even go as far as coating your number plates. Uh, we make sure that the whole exterior of the car is comprehensively ceramic coated. So that when it comes to protection, when it comes to maintaining this car, uh, it's, it's going to be a breeze. Guys, it's all coated, it's time to give it back to the customer. Uh, so let's take it outside and get some shots. 